Good evening everyone and a quick video this. This is the M1A2 Sep Abrams Tusk um, 2 which is from Meng Models 1 in 70 second and this is all the pieces for that kit. And what I'm planning to do is to do an Abrams Sep V3 using the T model Crows 2 system, um, not the Tusk 1 because the Tusk 1 is underneath the Tusk 2. So the Tusk 1 armor I'm going to use on something else. But this is what you get in the set. Now these are both from AliExpress. They've got some deals on at the minute. I'm not sponsored in any way by my own kits. Um, so you've got some nice clear pieces here for the um, site units. Two of these. Then you've got your Crow system. Now these are the same as what's on the MATV. And I don't think anyone has covered this kit um, like as a review in English. So you get two of the crows with uh, a Mark for sorry a Mark nineteen forty millimeter, um, the FN two forty, uh, which is basically a GPMG, and a fifty cal. Um, so you can do the options. These are your uh, Tusk one pieces. So you actually get a solid plastic as opposed to a clear plastic um, mount there on the site for the uh, crow's system and you get uh, two side skirts uh, which allows you to do uh, two vehicles so um, left and right side skirt times two um, then you get another crow's system you get a load of decals interestingly now this is kind of interesting because um, these decals must be for the abrams um, and they sure are. They've got the um, uh, patches, the uh, signs, some names like Gremlin. And they've got some of the um, front uh, decals for the front of the turret, which is a nice touch. And then you've got a load of um, etched parts because some of the Crow's system has etched parts. So it's actually really detailed little models. Now, I don't think that T-Model themselves do um, an Abrams. Um, I think they just do the Tusk kit as a as an addition. And then um, basically it comes with a uh, set of instructions on the rear. You know, some of these parts are quite fiddly. And um, it doesn't come with any sort of paint guides or instructions. And I don't know who T-Model are part of. But in essence, what you do is you build your Ab Abrams or Abrams uh, Tusk 2, and then you just put the crows on. Um, now, they're showing it with the additional um, machine gun here on the barrel. So if you build it like this, you'll have the remote weapon system and the machine gun on the barrel uh, and the loader's um, machine gun, but you won't have the commander's one. Now, the SEP V3s that I've seen pictures of don't have the um, machine gun on the barrel, the 50 cal, they just have the RWS on top of the site. So I'm going to get this built. Um, I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, I don't think there is an English um, language uh, review of this product. Uh, the main kit is absolutely lovely. It's a really nice model. I've done a separate video on that. So have a look. But my plan is to do then basically an Abrams uh, late SEP V2. Uh, with the Tusk 2 kit with the RWS. Take care. Goodbye.